Hey, welcome back to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley, and in this video, we're going into Serata DJ for some quick tips. This one is specifically about how to organize your music library and especially your crates. And a really quick tip that for any working DJs out there will help them massively when it comes to jumping into a crate and having it organized in a certain way. Let's take a closer look at just what I mean. As a working DJ, when you're playing in clubs, library management and knowing where your music is and being able to access the songs, the right songs when you want them, is a very important factor. Now with Serata DJ Pro, they offer a setting called Custom Crate Columns. Now this is a very quick tip, but something that's very useful, especially if you're a working DJ with lots of different playlists and crates that you need to access and want in different orders. What I mean by this is some crates you might want to order in BPM, for example. So I can check BPM and then it's in BPM ascending order. But another folder, I might just want to have them in when they were last added because they're already in BPM groups. So I don't really need them in BPM order. I want them by date added to my library. So I've got my newest tracks at the top, for example. But when I go into different crates, it remembers the same header or the same categorizing that I've just set up. So if we go into the gear icon, and into library and display tab. Just click custom crate columns. Now it will remember the last crate, the organization that you had in that crate. So I could, for example, this intro crate, I could put it in BPM order, and then I could go to one of these intelligent smart playlists and put that in date added order. This will now remember when I go back to that intro playlist to still categorize by BPM, and this one still categorized by date added. Just bear in mind, you will have to go through all of them and set up how you want them all to be organized because as standard, it will just do it in alphabetical order. This is a really quick tip, but something that's very useful for any working DJs out there that want to organize their music and make sure that when they go in a crate, it's organized the way they want it. One last thing is if you've got specific sets that you play from start to finish, then this hashtag column here allows you to drag tracks up and down in that crate. If it's a specific playlist, you will always want to access that playlist in this order. So this is where this really comes into its own as well. Because when I go back to intro, I can then still have them in BPM. There you have it, a super quick tip that's hopefully very useful to some of our users and viewers. If you enjoyed this tip, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. And click the link to check out some of our online DJ courses to learn way more tips on Serato DJ. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.